and CEO Kiimbo Tours and Adventure speaking to us about local tourism and what this year looks like. Now, we're going to look at this story and I'm going to leave you with this. Taita Taveta County has allocated 45 million shillings to construct a rice processing plant in Taveta constituency. The plant is aimed at boosting food security for adding value to rice while at the same time create jobs for the locals. Here's Ron Kimari with the details from Taveta from Taita Taveta. Well, it is a relief to rice farmers here in Taita Taveta County after the county government started construction a uh, 45 million rice processing plant uh, here in Taveta sub-county where most of the rice farming activities have been taking place. And now we'll be getting an opportunity to hear sentiments by the rice farmers here in Taveta sub-county and also sentiments by other leaders including the county governor. Jambo la kufresha katika hii county yetu hasasa hii sub-county ya Taveta ambapo watu wanalima mpunga zaidi mbogoni ward ni kwamba watu wanatumia maji ya ya ya, ya umwagiliaji na haya maji yanapatikana mfululizo mwaka mzima kwa hivyo mpunga huu utalimwa wakati wote wa mwaka hatutasema kuna msimu kutakuwa kuna limwa mpunga kuanzia januari mpaka disemba sasa sisi ndio tutaketi na wakulima tuweze kuwahamasisha kama idara kuwa walime kwa mifumo ili watu wakilima mwezi huu kama ni kitobo mwezi ujao yule watu wa Kimorigo mwezi ule mwingine watu wa, wa Matawod mwezi ule mwingine tupate ile ya Sagala mwezi ule mwingine tupate ya Bura utakuta kutakuwa na mzunguko wakati wa kuvuna kila wakati tutakuwa tunavuna na kila wakati tutakuwa tuna, tunaotesha kwa hivyo kutakuwa na mzunguko wa mzima probably because hatujafanya soil testing but najua tulifanya soil testing ni matokeo hatujajulishwa vizuri ili tuweze kujua ni mbolea gani tunastahili kutumia sababu mostly mpunga unapata unahitaji either sulfate ammonia ama urea na ukienda kule kwa store wewe ni mkulima umezoea urea unapata hakuna urea unapata unalazimishwa kununua ile sulfate ammonia ama CN na labda wewe umezoea SA inabidi utumie urea so hiyo pia wakiweza kufanya data wajue ni mbolea gani wakulima wana prefer but also waweze ku advise according to our to our soil watufanyie soil testing vizuri na wakulima wote washauriwe kulingana na mashamba yao tumeunda umoja wa wakulima wa mpunga yani rice growers cooperative society ambayo inaitwa inaitwa uswi uh, cooperative hiyo tumeamua kuiunda ili tuuwe na ile ongeza wanaita bargaining power yani tukikuwa pamoja tunaweza kuamua kwamba tunaweza kwa bei gani na pia vile vile tuweze kufikia soko. Tapokuwa na soko iko wapi? Na pia tujue bei kwa wakati ule ambao mmeetu kwa tayari bei ya sokoni ni kiasi gani. Basi itakuwa rahisi sisi kupanga hata sisi pia bei. Lakini kwa sababu hilo mpaka sasa hajatengemea sawa sawa basi tunanuliwa na wale wajanja ambao ni brokers. Wamekuwa na matatizo mengi. Maana iko wanaosafirisha wengine mpaka wapeleke Mwea wengine wanapelekwa kwa nchi yetu jirani walikuwa na matatizo mengi so kwa kupitia kwa huu mtambo najua tutaboresha ukulima wa mchele vile mnauita hapa mpunga na pia vijana watasaidika kwa makazi wa mama watakuwa wanajiwezesha wenyewe wakilima mchele mchele wazee ambapo ndio mambo sisi tunataka kama county kama jimbo la county unajua kuna dhambi zilifanyika hapo nyuma serikali kuu haki tuangalia hata na kiwanda hata kimoja so challenge changamoto ya makazi kwa vijana imekuwa kubwa sana sasa tukifanya mambo kama haya angalau yanapunguza hiyo tatizo la Makazi. Well, as you have heard from the rice farmers and also leaders, they are hoping this uh, project will be coming along to improve food security in this county and also improve market for the rice farmers who previously have been uh, forced to ferry their produce to where.